Hi everyone, in this video we'll do an unboxing and look at this Edimax USB and speed wireless adapter which I bought from Play.com for £12. So I've chosen this one because it has Linux support, in fact all the Edimax wireless devices promise Linux support. And they also use the Raylink wireless drivers, which again, yeah, they have good Linux support. And there's also another trick with them, you can put them in promiscuous mode. Got some sneaky things happening with that one later. So just looking at the outside of the box first, so it shows it's BG and N certified on wireless. Uh, it's only 150 meg speed that it's up to, that's not quite the full speed of N wireless which is 300 meg. It supports Windows 7, Windows Vista, Mac and Linux. Comes with a detachable antenna, again these are handy features which I'm after. And so it says it's got three times wireless coverage with 3 dB high gain detachable antenna and it says it supports Windows 2000 XP, Vista 7, Linux and Mac 10.4 and above. Anything on the back, just lots of various languages. Where's English on this? Oh, it's not, it's just uh, I think translation of everything that's on the front. So it's just showing the use of it there, so you've got your internet, you've got your broadband wireless router, and it just shows plugging that wireless dongle into a laptop. So that's it here, which is quite a size really. And it's got a little LED on it. So I've got to mention that's the Edimax EW7711USN. It's written on there in very small letters. Let's just see what's in the rest of the box. So I've got a CD driver for Windows, instruction manual. Shows how to put it together. That's good. There's an extension cable. That's the aerial, so it's quite flexible. Pointing out to different directions. And wow, we've got Antivirus Plus. Some 2 gig online backup worth £50. Of course, if you use Linux, you don't have to worry about antivirus stuff at all. So you save yourself £50 or the rest of it as well, whichever it costs. So I'll just bolt that onto there. Right, so just try out my netbook. So I've disabled the internal wireless. I just got there to the network icon at the top there, and you can see wireless network is not in that list. So we have no network connection at all. So I'm just gonna plug this into the USB port on the side. There it is. Oh, that is quite bulky and sort of dropping down there. Show that. Probably better to use that cable to connect it in. Anyway, let's see what's happened. This is trying it in Ubuntu 11.04 with the Linux 2.6.38 kernel. Alright, we just got wireless is disabled, but it has recognised that the wireless adapter is there. Now what that probably is, because I've disabled it in the whole machine, I'm just going to switch it all back on. Right. <laughs> well, there's a connection established, but <laughs> which one? I think it's worked there, but I'm just, uh, as I don't know which one's which on the network now. I think the top one is the new device, and the bottom one is the internal device. But anyway, that's recognised it straight away. I don't have to mess around with drivers. Right, that concludes the look at this Edimax USB N Speed Wireless Adapter, bought from Play. So that was a really easy way of getting wireless to work in Linux. So that's actually a perfectly ideal solution if, say, on your desktop computer you're having a lot of trouble getting wireless going in Linux. That cost all of £12 and it was plug and play. Didn't have to do anything in Ubuntu 11.04. And I've just tried it on my desktop computer upstairs, which has Ubuntu 11.10 with the Linux version 3 kernel. Works straight away. Absolutely easy and that was good value for money. So thanks for watching, see you later.